three women politicians from Igbo land who refuse to steal public funds despite their top positions. Friend, welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post our juicy news update. Please click on the notification bell. The corruption scandal surrounding the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Elevation, Beta Idu, has led to the Yulozai to the eulogization of Nigeria's top three male, three female politicians from the Southeast geopolitical zone. Beta Edu came under fire after a document detailing how she instructed the Accountant General of the Federation to transfer hundreds of millions of Naira into a private individual account, sufficed. Most worrisome, the Accountant General of the Federation, AGF Ulua Toyi Meidin, revealed last week that Edu Edu made an illegal request to wire funds into a personal account. Notwithstanding, another document dated November 23 showed the embattled humanitarian minister received funds for flight ticket to a non existent Kogi airport. According to Sahara reporters, the document shows approved funds for flight ticket and airport taxes for Beta Edu and her teams from Abuja to Kogi State, even though the latter has no airport. The publication noted that funds were approved ahead of the November 11, 2023 governorship elections. In reaction to these scandals, the names of Dr. Ngozi Okonji Wela, Dr. Obi Ezekwesili, and Prof. Dora Akonili trended online. According to findings, Dr. Ngozi Okonji Wela, who was the Minister of Finance for three years during ex President Ulisha Gobasanjo's presidency, and four years of good luck, Jonathan had no corruption standards in both teams. Dr. Obia Zekwasili was the head of budget monitoring and prize intelligence unit and minister of solid minerals and minister of education between 1999 and 2007. She also had no corruption scandal in the eight years of her tenure. Prof. Dora Akonui was the DG of NAVDAC and late Later, Minister of Information between 2001 and 2010, she served meritoriously without spot or blemish. Meanwhile, President Bola Tenembo has demanded a thorough probe of the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Elevation headed by Beta Idu. My own is this, and this is what I'm going to say. I've said it integrity piece. It may pay you now, it may pay you later. Do you know that late Dora Okuni's hmm, picture, name, God rest her soul, God rest that woman's soul, God bless her, wherever she is. Do you know that as at two weeks ago, I think before Christmas, was it November? No, before Christmas, as in, I think the first or second week of December, her name was trending online. You understand? Because people were now talking about fake, fake things, how fake, fake things are not popular. During Dorot's time, who are you? If you're like, make your money, they throw away for ground. Make it be saying, I'm money, now they use clean. If you go toilet, now wait they use clean your bomb bomb. You understand? Make it be saying, I'm money, be your, as in your, your, your gold, they, your toy. You know, consign Dora. Your products, you know, reach standards out. You bring food, they will kill people, then burn them. You don't even see them. They don't even call your attention to them. They don't burn them. Yes, why they will call your attention to them? So they go, what do you, what do you call your attention for? You see me, then check something, then check them, no good. Then burn them. This is not a matter of a beg. Let's say with the beg for. We want to make home and chop and make a business at home and make If you like, invest your whole life. Borrow the life of your family, put inside the business. It's not worth it. Those days, those was when we have people like Dora. Unfortunately, she did not last. This world was not a good place for her. I'm telling you, I kid you not, she's in a better place. Another person is this woman. That this woman is a replica of integrity peace and hard work peace. I did tell you, she is a perfect example of what integrity is. She didn't really make noise. But she stands before kings, presidents. I don't want to know who you be. But she stands before them and stands tall and a soldier's high on top of her neck. I did tell you. But the thing is, 
with this generation, what are you going to do? How are you going to leave your mark in this generation? Are you going to be among those babies that beg, 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 beg? If I not take now, even my children, they will even follow us. Yes, now people will say it. That time we were growing, the people going to talk, say, if your papa gave opportunity to make money, no make. Even you, when you grow, you will come outside, when they talk, say, eh. You come outside and say, your children, then go even, then go even verse for you. Say, you go do it, you go take them. You're going to make, at least you go take them. I'm telling you, even now thrives. What was norm, what was normal before is now abnormal now. It's abnormal for you to be in a position, even in your place. Even you go see security. Security people will be say, you know, that security then they do. They don't even have integrity for their work. Why? They go say, I beg, I beg. I beg, I go sell them after, after how much I go pay them. My papa work. At the end of the day, you see people. And you wonder why when our leaders get there, you wonder why they don't have good character. You wonder why they don't have integrity because they never had it. Look around you. Look at Nigerians today. Do they have integrity? How many of them can vouch for, oh no, I have or I am, my hand is straight. Go to, where, which ministry you go to now? Which ministry will you go to and you're going to find people who actually have integrity? In fact, if you are too, if you are too, if you have integrity and your integrity bright, it shines bright because it, no more, if you get integrity, you'll be shining bright. You'll be shining bright, meaning you attract a lot of criticism and a lot of enemy. And they tell you, in the police force, if care is not taken, then feel on alive you now. The fit that you say now you be the problem. And they tell you. So it's either you they on alive you or if you send some, you will just leave their work for them go. May they not go end you. We need to, this generation needs to understand. So this better, it don't matter. If it is true, I keep saying this, if it is true, I am highly disappointed. Anywhere you are as a person, do you now know what you are sent there to do? Even if they do, let's like, say you got in there by your, by your hard work or whatever, or by your waiting, by luck, if you, they be like film, say you did there, you were meant to be there and show the world how things are supposed to be done. If you're a Christian, you show that's part of you, not your religiousness, your godliness. If you are somebody who you are, it was a call, you're a Muslim, you also show that is why they were put in that seat to show people how not the other way around. You should be influencing people and not people influencing you. Now, imagine whenever they type better, I do. This is what is going to come outside. Her name has forever been written on the sands of history. As once upon a time, only one year we then put you. The embezzlement not allow you focus on your work. All right, on this note, you have come to the end of your news. So thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.